Hello, everyone. Today's devotional reading is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 17, verses 7 through 10, where it is written, Will any one of you who, who has a servant plowing or keeping sheep say to him once he has come in from the field, Come at once and recline at table? Will he not rather say to him, Prepare supper for me, and dress properly, and serve me while I eat and drink, and afterwards you will eat and drink? Does he thank the servant because he did what was commanded? So you also, when you have done all that you were commanded, commanded say, We are unworthy servants. We have only done what was our duty. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. A few short verses, but so powerful. For there is something that really troubles the Christian faith. It's the problem of pride. People can think, well, I go to church every Sunday. I go to Bible study too. Or I'll, that's what people thought before COVID, and hopefully people will be returning to church to Bible study after COVID. But people think, well, I go every week. I'm better than those part-timers. Or I see this sadly in clergy a lot. Well, I've been in this uh, clergy business 20 years, 30 years. You've been there five. You don't know half what I know. I'm just a little bit more holy. And pride, we all know it. As we see it in other people, it's... Ugh. And sadly, when we see it in ourselves, it's like, oh, no, uh, but it's justified because of this reason or whatever. Pride is a problem. In the church, out of the church, in clergy, in the laity, pride will kill you and tear the church down faster than anything else. Which is why our Lord says these words. You know, a hired hand does with their job. And he says, Jesus says, your response should be, we are unworthy servants. We've only done what was our duty. And that's powerful. We don't earn our way into heaven with our good works. Jesus, we share in his work. Or how, how should I say this? We don't earn our way to heaven by good works. That's not how it works. Rather, Jesus Christ opens the door to heaven for us. We join him in his ministry of bringing heaven to earth and making sure that God's will is done on earth as it is in heaven. But we don't earn our salvation. We partner with Jesus. For you think about it, uh, in the prophets it says, our own righteous acts are as filthy rags before God. Yet we're saved, we're his children, by him dying to forgive us our sins and rising from the dead to give us eternal life. Do we deserve this? No, no one's worthy. But God graciously gives us this anyway as a gift. And our lives since then, it's not a list of brownie points. Well, <laughs> I got you beat there. Rather, it's not about us. It's always about Jesus and what he commands. And that's about it. Our salvation is a, a free gift by grace through faith. And our lives lived in faith are not about us. They're about Jesus. We're not worthy, but we do our best to serve him. And when the focus comes off of us, it's so powerful. Not caring, saying, I don't care. Well, I mean, you should care, but I don't care about my own ego and pride. It's very freeing. You don't have to worry about yourself anymore. You just do your job. That's what our Lord's speaking about here. For yes, I mean, when we eat and drink and don't, you know, hate our body and beat ourselves up. But um, we know that in Him, it's not about us. It's about Him. And we can live lives of peace knowing it's about him. Let us pray. O oh Lord, guide us not to be arrogant, proud, or selfish, but be more like you, humble and willing to do the will of the Father. Amen.